another video. I've decided to come to Headcorn and try and do some aviation photography. I've got to have some lunch first because I've been on the road doing other vlogs. But I've seen a Spitfire, I've seen the Wing Walker already just as I arrived. So I think I'll be able to get enough nice aviation shots as it were. Might even get a few um, civil aer aeroplanes. And there's the Harvard trainer as well. So it's all kind of here. I'm going to finish my sandwich, head over to the perimeter fence and set up there. So um, yeah, stick around and see what I can do with shutter priority and aviation. Got the Spitfire returning. Very nice. And with a little luck, we'll see the wing walkers going off again. Going to be towed away, is that it? A tractor coming along to um, tow it, I think. Maybe there won't be any more wing walking. I see some people there. There's a nice biplane over there. We may be fortunate to see another Spitfire run because it looks like they're about to refuel it. So it's not about static photographs, although. I could take some images of, you know, airplanes stationary, such as that. We've got the Harvard trainer and the Spitfire, the two-seater, and there's also a Tiger Moth. Lovely. So I think I might just take one or two shots of the static display. You know, they're servicing the aircraft. Not the best angle for it, but um, let's go down to the other side, set up, and we'll talk through some settings to capture aviation photography. And that'll be like propellers turning so that you don't have blades, you know, it's just the, um, the motion of the propeller, I think. Cool. Oh, and blurred backgrounds as well. <laughs> let's get over there. Well, we could be in luck. We've got a wing walker coming down. So what I'm going to try and do is capture it. And there's a tiger moth as well. Capture them lifting off onto the... Um, onto the uh... yeah, this, this could be fun. It might be screaming. And we've got the tiger moth too. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the settings. I'm going into shutter priority. I'm going to set my ISO to um, auto sensitivity. I don't know if the screen's picking it up, but you'll, you'll get the gist of it. Um, with a minimum of 1600, but it's going to stay at 100. I've got no doubt about that. And for s speed, I think we can try anything from a 60th of a second. Let's give me F11 to 120th is, is, is something coming now. Oh, I was at 18 mil. <laughs> I wasn't planning that. Um, but I guess part of it is testing your exposure, uh, testing your shutter speed. Because what I want to try and do is pan with the aircraft as it passes me, zooming in obviously to get enough. So I've got a normal Cessna coming along here. As you can see, here it comes. It's lifting off. Yeah, so that wasn't bad. That was a 60th of a second. And that's just my test up. So he's not flying really fast and his propeller is in a full force and that gave me that picture and you can see some of the blade whereas the Cessna that took off at a 60th of a second you can't see the propeller at all so that's perfect so it's just about 
waiting, isn't it? And as the aircraft take off, see if I can capture them in motion. If I might have to move further down the field because um, they're already in flight as they pass me, but if I can get further down. But I might get some nice shots of the, um, what is that? I always forget, it's a Boeing, isn't it? Boeing Walker aeroplane. So I'll put the footage of the aircraft as they're coming along, but I'll take some pictures, see if I can get something. See if I can get something. Remember, my microphone is an issue. already lifted off so I won't get any blurry background. Sweet, sweet as. No hint of propeller at all. So a sixteenth of a second, auto ISO just pan with the subject but because the wind is quite forceful coming down um, it's the liftoff is happening way down there. Right I'm gonna get the Sony Cybershot because it's got zoom capabilities for movie and I'm just going to take a couple of shots. Might be lucky enough to get the um, Spitfire taking off as well. I'm gonna get some video footage of the Boeing. It's one of those things that you can't win. You're either too far up here for the lift off, or you're not far up enough because the airplane's flying over that end. So any side of shot. I'm just gonna put it into movie mode because I'm using it for movie. remember in the last video that I used this um, and I was doing a walk around I think it was on the photography channel I can't remember now but I had a bottle of water and the water seeped in so now when I record or even take photographs I've got a black dot can you see it I've got a black dot just where the airplane is and that's on the sensor is it on the lens some research and apparently unless you can dismantle the whole thing and clean the sensor you have to send it off and we're talking 140 150 quid to get it cleaned I paid 110 for it <laughs> let's look after our kit okay I'm dreadful for that but it's it's there to be used isn't it Parachutists are going up, look. Now I don't know what they do in terms of why don't they put the parachutists into the plane and then let it, you know, taxi down the runway. They seem to take them down in the trailer and then the, the plane will come along in a minute and then they'll load up. Steerman? Is it called Steerman? doing continuous shooting, click, 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 click. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that there was one or two in there that actually gives me a blurred background. 
because I was panning with the, with the fire. Okay, so here comes the, the plane for the parachutists. I might conclude the video by going back up the top end and do some video footage of them free falling. I'm going to take a couple of shots of the plane as it passes, just so that I can get the spin of the propeller. the smell of ab gas and there's the steerman because I've only got the 140 I've got the maximum reach so I'll have to do some cropping they're all climbing in the um, parachute plane Got the tiger moth coming in. Well, that's a short flight. If they've paid to go on the tiger moth, they basically circuited the um, the field, and that was it. Well, it's landed. It's going to taxi past us. Might get a shot of it coming by. the sun shining on the silver bodywork. 160 it seems to work nicely. Let's do a slow pan with the aeroplane. Be able to get it panning past me. Yeah, happy with them. Continuous shooting, quite happy with that. Oh, Stearman's coming in now. It's all happening. I saw them loading the Spitfire up, I don't know if I should um, finish the video now or just wait for the Spitfire. Let me have a think about that because, you know, when you're doing vlogs and you only get 200 views, but you put all your effort and energy into doing it, either you're not doing something wrong or the algorithm isn't working in your favour, and you become lethargic, you become kind of a, yeah, what's the point? Hmm, I wonder. It's a like, it's a subscribe, it's a share, it's a comment, it's an interaction. If you thought it was all shit, then say so, add a comment. If it was all right, say so, add a comment. Give me a thumbs up, just put a thumbs up in the comment like that. You know? Hey ho, I shall persevere. Um, thank you for watching. That was shutter priority 160th of a second, auto ISO, panning with the aircraft. 
that's really that simple it's just a case of choosing a lens you know if I could get a 200 mil or a 300 mil I could zoom right in to the cockpit as it's taking off but then you don't get the whole aspect of the airplane so it's equal, equally easier to use my 140 be at 100 mil and then do some cropping you know to centralize the airplane because I think when you're taking a picture of an airplane taking off it's not about rules of thirds you can have the plane smack bang in the middle of the, um, of the, of the frame there you go I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead because <laughs> I've lost my inspiration thanks for watching I'll see you in another video bye for now